Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Sorry about that. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And uh, if I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. What's your name? Rachel, what's yours? Just so we're not strangers. Dearie, I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. Really? <laughs> wow, I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah, all about how the woodsman cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim. Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsman friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. But I mean, I wouldn't think you'd be friends after something like that. Okay, kid. Look, I'll make you a deal. If you're good, I'll give you a whole demonstration. I'll be me, and you'll be the grandmother. Though, uh, I don't know if Miss White here would necessarily approve. <laughs> okay, deal. Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. We're looking for a man. A skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. Do you go to school? Sometimes. Is there... something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Mr. Wolf. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. That your mom? Uh-huh. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky-tonk. No accounting for taste. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Do you like broccoli? Not really. I love it. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Do you have any pets? Not technically. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me.
fucking witches. How much longer do you think it'll be? I can have my mom call you later or something. Finished yet? There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. I'm not gonna break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. That guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you? Even worked on you? Didn't know you had a soft spot for children. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. I'd be very, very careful if I were you. You're not as cute as that little girl. You have a lot to learn on how to treat a lady. Greenleaf? When I was starving and homeless and out on the streets, nobody gave three sticks of thought about me. And now I'm supposed to care what you want? If I helped you, I'd be strung up on the Statue of Liberty before the morning commute. No thanks. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. 
It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you! Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. But Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you.